Dell was born in New York City on January 14, 1932. Two days ago, she would have turned 78. Her parents, Judith and Hayden, and her older brother, Stephen, were also writers. Soon after Lenore's birth, the family moved from the city to a farm in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. When Lenore was four, she and her brother stayed with her mother's friend, Adele, while her parents made a trip to the West Coast. The following are quotes from letters Adele wrote to Judith describing Lenore. And I included these just because there's so much like she was in her own, you know, the rest of her life. Um, and so this is, um, so this is, she's describing, okay, this is Lenore when she was four. After three weeks with me, I still find her slightly incredible. From day to day, I wait somewhat curiously to discover some negative quality in her, but nothing of the kind. On she goes, her own kind, calm, smiling way. She makes friends quicker than you can bat an eyelash. The laundry man comes by, and by the time I return from the next room to pay him, I find her with her arms around him. A very wise child with a good chance for happiness. She accepts all situations coolly and philosophically. Lenore did have the gift of happiness. She found pleasure however and wherever she could, from her plants, from good food, from books, etc. This was true even in her last years when she spent most of her time in her apartment. On the table out in the front, um, there's a, there are pictures of the amaryllis that she loved. She made friends wherever she went, with her doctors, her chiropractor, the woman who gave her free bagels. Lenore attended both the one-room schoolhouse in Pennsylvania and schools in Hollywood. In ninth grade, she studied aspects of molecular motion. In an interview with Destiny, Destiny Canal, she said, since that time, I never looked at anything as standing still. One fact is that we're made up of particles of a star. The following is a letter from Lynn that Lenore wrote to her parents from camp when she was probably around 10 years old. Dear Mom and Pop, I'm sorry you can't be here for Parents Day. I'm a fairy in Midsummer's Night Dream. I'm off. I did other things too. At an Indian campfire, I chanted a ritual and lit the fire. I also sang a lullaby. Then she says, I'm a poet and getting better. The, the first time I saw Lenora was at a poetry reading in San Francisco in the late 60s, reading from her book, Choreopoly. Being a literature major in college had completely turned me off poetry, as it had my father years before. Hearing Lenore read totally changed my view of poetry. I just sat there with my mouth open. The only problem that was when I met her, and for years after, I was so in awe of her that I was always tongue-tied and self-conscious when I was around her. Around 15 years ago, Phyllis Wilner called and asked if it would be if I would start taking Lenore shopping. I said yes and went to see her. That was the beginning of our friendship. I feel so fortunate to have spent so much time with her. How many people spend time with their favorite poet on a regular basis? And hear her wonderful choices of words, describing a tree as having exuberant blossoms, for instance. She was such a good friend. In a children's book I read recently, a young girl says after her grandmother dies, who would I share my worst days with? Granny could always put things in the right places like the way she stored her canned vegetables and preserves. Lenore could always put things in their right places for me. Um, while going through her possessions, we found many poems that were never published. Kathy Nolan will now read three of them. <laughs> 